Hey, what's going on guys? Arian here, and this is the Nexus 6P. Now, it came out about 12 months ago, and instead of being succeeded by a better phone, Google decided to kill off the Nexus line in favor of the Pixel and the Pixel XL. Now, when this phone first came out, it was one of the best phones you could possibly buy, and it was arguably one of the best Nexus phones ever created. But is it still worth your money 12 months later? I'm here to help answer that question. So what makes the Nexus 6P so special? Let's talk about the build quality. It features a design we're all pretty familiar with now. All aluminum body with Corning Gorilla Glass 4 on the front. There's also a small panel of glass on the back that houses the camera hardware. The 6P and the 5X were also the first Nexus phones to feature a fingerprint scanner, which after being out for 12 months is still one of the fastest sensors on the market. It's got a beautiful 5.7 inch Quad HD display that can still compete with a lot of the flagship phones of 2016. And at 518 pixels per inch, it's still plenty sharp for everyday use and media consumption. This is an aspect of the 6P that has aged incredibly well. Now the phone does have some relatively big bezels, but they're definitely functional. They house two front firing speakers that are incredibly loud. And in terms of audio quality, it's easily better than a lot of flagship phones of 2016, like the Galaxy S7 Edge, the iPhone 7 Plus, and even the Pixel XL in terms of just pure audio quality. These speakers really enhance media consumption on the 6P. Now, as we all know, technology tends to improve every year, and this is especially apparent in a phone's performance. 2016 flagship phones have been absolutely phenomenal when it comes to just raw power. But that doesn't mean the Nexus 6P is a slouch just because it's a year old. The Snapdragon 810 and 3 gigs of RAM is still plenty for most users. And considering you get the latest updates from Google, you can rest assured that your Nexus 6P will continue to feel snappy. I currently have the 7.1 beta on my 6P and it's buttery smooth. Nexus phones were always notorious for having below average cameras. The Nexus 6P and the 5X were the first Nexus phones to feature cameras that could actually compete with the best flagship phones of 2015. At 12.3 megapixels and 1.55 microns, it took amazing photos in almost every lighting situation. Not to mention it had laser autofocus for snapping quick shots. The only downside the camera had was it didn't have optical image stabilization, which could lead to pretty shaky looking videos if you have unsteady hands. Another aspect of the 6P that's pretty solid, it's battery life. It was built with a huge 3450 milliamp hour battery that could easily get you through a day's worth of use, even if you're a power user. But here's the thing, when you compare it to flagship phones of 2016 like the iPhone 7 Plus or the Pixel XL, it just doesn't last as long on a single charge. Fortunately, it's got a USB Type-C port on the bottom that supports quicker charging speeds, so you can get up to 7 hours of battery in just 10 minutes. Yeah. You heard me, seven hours of battery in 10 minutes. This is faster than the Pixel's charging speed of seven hours in 15 minutes. So finally, the big question, is the Nexus 6P still worth it 12 months after release? Well, it really depends. If you're someone who prioritizes software updates but don't really want a Pixel, then yeah, the Nexus 6P is still a great buy. But if you don't really care about having the latest Android version quickly, then you can find better buys in terms of internal qualities in the HTC 10 and the OnePlus 3. But if you're one of the few users out there who waited to see what Google was bringing out this year and was not happy with the Pixel, then yeah, I can definitely recommend the Nexus 6P. Plus, you can find some pretty sweet deals on eBay right now considering the 6P isn't sold on the Google Store anymore. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to support us by hitting the like button down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bro, did you see the new spooky Pokemon? Yeah, dude. Oh, I caught a drowsy at my school yesterday and I nicknamed him Bill Cosby. I'd be like, put him to sleep, Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs>